Hello, this is Michael Jolin. Today I'll be doing an update on a video I did nine months ago on the Tessaverant USB 3 SATA dock with a fan. And there was a person, his name was R Valens2, that commented over here about how he was able to actually modify his in order to create a better uh, airflow for the fan. And he had instructions here of how to do it. And that was really nice. Um, I did get in touch with him and then got some pictures from him and that he shared with us. And that was very nice of him. So I want to give credit to him. His name is Rick Saldana, and he is available um, on almost every platform as R Balance 2. And we're going to show you the modifications that he made. So here is his drive after he put in his modifications on. As you can see, he made the legs bigger and he replaced this fan grate or this fan grill, whatever you want to call it. And this is how it looks before. This is how it looks after. He also took off the top grate. Um, and created a better airflow for the case. This is before, that's after. He has two of them, so he um, can show the before and after, or one modified, one not modified. And as you can see, the legs are big on this one, the legs are tiny on this one, and this is the original legs. And these are them side by side. You get this fan grate anywhere, that um, PSU or a fan, an old fan. It's mostly on the older devices that I've been seeing this, but I was able to pick one up. As you can see, the legs are much bigger, and these are all pictures of his modifications. So if you want to pause the video to look at any of these pictures, how he took off the grates and stuff like that. And this is the screw under the leg. And this is the inside if you open it up. And he opened it up with an X-Acto knife, a sharp razor. And if you open it up carefully to make sure that you don't crack it or scratch it, uh, that would be a good idea. And as you can see, this is the inside adapter right here. You have the SATA. This is uh, USB 3.0 power and the fan connector power button. And this is the adapter that he took it apart to show us how he did that. And I think that's about it. These are the legs that he bought and the longer screw that he bought in order to be able to make this modification. I'm going to buy different legs. So this is the one that he bought right here. As you can see, um, it's a 12 pack for $10, which is each one for a dollar, which is quite expensive. Um, I did mention this to him and I said I was able to find actually for cheaper and uh, smaller ones that you don't necessarily to be need to size. So I bought these um, and these are a different size. Um, they are 18 by 13 by 9, whereas his were uh, 0.70, uh, well, 20 by 12 by 17. So mine are a little bit smaller, so therefore it will do better. However, they were taking a really long time to come and I didn't think they would actually make it. So I ended up buying this set over here and I'm like, hey, this is better anyway because it comes with a ton of different pieces and it's $4 more expensive, but you get 72 pieces and you get a case and you get screws. So I'm like, hey, this is more worth it. And I just bought a set of these. So let's see which ones are going to work for me. Again, I just want to say thank you to Rick Saldana for helping me out with this video and sending me all these pictures. And now let's get to the actual modifications that I'm going to try to do on this case. So I've received both packages, this one from eBay and this one from Amazon. Let's open both of them up. So this was $14 and this was like I uh, showed you in the earlier in the video, uh, well, $3, $4. Um, this comes with the whole set. Uh, these are actually made out of rubber and these are, let's open it up and see what's, these are also made out of rubber. Okay, very nice. Um, I guess the difference between uh, this set and this set is that um, there's a metal piece inside uh, for, there's a metal piece inside so that way um, it can get screwed in much nicer. So um, I appreciate that. Um, but let's see which one works out better. As you can see, there are three different sizes um, and this size is a little smaller than this size. So it could be that this one will be the one that ends up working out, but we shall see. So here is a device and let's take off the top and as you can see it already does not fit so um, whatever we're going to do it's just not going to fit in there unless we use the small ones then possibly it may fit and even the small ones don't really fit as you can see so uh, what are we going to do so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this uh, grill grate whatever you want to call it and I'm going to put on the metal one um, the other metal one I should say so here is the metal grate and I'm going to put this right onto there Okay, so once I took all these screws out, I was able to use a tool just like this to just pry this open and take this off. Uh, once I did that, I opened all of these and I actually took the screws out. Um, I took the rubber pieces off and then I took these screws out, uh, which was not very hard. Um, once I did that, I was able to just stick my little pry tool in here. And this is the pry tool that um, Linus actually recommended the Jack and me, um, and it's actually from AliExpress for like three, four dollars. Um, I know Linus is going through a lot right now, if anyone's watching his videos. Uh, so um, at least, uh, you know, he helped out uh, a lot of people. So 
You can take this off. Once you take this off, you'll see there is a um, there is this grill over here. Now I don't want to take this grill off completely, but as you can see, it does restrict airflow a lot. So I'm going to make a lot of holes in it, and we'll be back with all the holes. Before I put this back together, I just want to show you um, how this board works. Over here, you just have the chip with the different connectors on it, um, and here are the fan connected to the power, um, and it goes right into here. Let's put the grate back on. So let me show you this grate. I made a bunch of holes in it, and I had to make sure that it was smooth so that it didn't have any problems with the drive. You can put the grate right back on there, and now that it's back in place, you can put the fan back in place. I believe that's how it was originally. So this is how we'll put it back. Okay, now that that's back in place, we're going to take the uh, cover and put it back. And here is that cover. And now that the cover is back on, we can actually screw it back together. But first, let's put on this fan right here. And as you can see, it fits on pretty nicely. Um, let's put the screws in. Here are the screws for the fan. And I'm going to put them in. So in this case, I was able to put the original screws back in together with this metal plate. Um, so let's put the legs back on and I'm going to see which ones are going to work out. So I actually think the smallest size might be the best, um, which is this size right here. Uh, and I think I'm going to put all these in. And these also have metal caps inside to protect it. Um, now it doesn't really fit so much inside. Uh, however, it does fit over and I think that is good enough. Um, I hope I am not ruining the um, screw hole inside when I do this. But um, I haven't heard any cracking. So I'm just gonna continue going. Um, I think that uh, my viewer did a much better job with uh, handling with care, and I'm being a little more reckless than he was, but. Okay, so it turns out I did actually crack the inside, so definitely don't do that. Um, use the right size screws. So I have to find myself some proper size screws to be able to screw them in properly. Okay, I finally finished. Um, so the problem was is that um, the screws that came with the little heads, uh, little legs, um, were actually uh, too thick and I had to just find my own screws over here. I have a ton of screws um, and I used them to uh, put in here and uh, it worked out. So um, I guess I would recommend just making sure you have the right screws to not crack this one. I ended up cracking it with these longer screw with whole situation. But now I have a um, much better airflow over here and now we're gonna put in a hard drive to show you how it still fits nicely. And I'm also gonna show you how um, after putting on these legs, as you can see already from probably from the angle that you are, that um, the leg does come out a fair amount more than the uh, actual fan head. And um, I did a little, I guess, testing like this. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but there is a, a solid uh, half an inch probably, um, or quarter of an inch in between the fan and the floor. So I think that's enough space to be able to have a fan intake. Um, I'm definitely okay with it, especially uh, since the ones that were there before were this big and I made it about double. So I don't know if you can see right here, but basically I doubled that size. So um, I think that's okay because I didn't double this size anyway. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how the hard drive still fits even after. You could just take this whole thing out like the uh, other um, YouTuber did, but since this is already indented a nice amount, like uh, it just has a little bit of a lip over here. So uh, it's totally fine. You can put the drives right in there and it is no problem. It still fits perfectly. Um, so um, would I recommend that you uh, put this back on? Actually I would uh, because then you might ruin the fan. Um, but if you want to just take that out completely then uh, that would make sense. Uh, there's a much better fan and take down the bottom. So hopefully um, I will feel the uh, drives running a little bit cooler. So again, thank you so much to uh, our balance too for helping me out with this and sending me the pictures and the ideas. Um, I guess my recommendation is to either uh, use these or the ones um, that our balance used. Um, I don't think it needs to be that high, but I think this is good enough. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you and have a great day.